Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Dead Cells. Update free, Who's Your Daily, is currently in uh, the beta branch, and thus, you know, we'll be seeing some new stuff here. I mean, if you saw yesterday's, or, well, yesterday relative to when this video came out, uh, daily run, may rec Whoa, what the heck was that? You see that giant, massive, explodey stuff? Anyway, yeah, so, there's been some changes. Uh, one, we won't notice this episode by the looks of it, but you'll you'll see right away that we're, like, moving, like, super fast and stuff, and that's because there's this cool new thing. Oh, are those the Bombermen? I guess those are the Bombermen. Anyway, yeah, so, the more you kill enemies, and the faster you kill them, you get a speed bonus that makes you move faster, and, you know, the more you keep it going, the faster you get. Eh, I don't need the Yogheart. But, if you're not killing enemies, then you lose the speed bonus. And I guess that's to encourage us to kill enemies a bit more often. Which, you know, I guess that's a thing. Hmm. I have mixed feelings about that new appearance. He looks like he's a giant mass of cancer, to be honest with you. Big old tumors that he's then chucking at us. That's kind of gross. But, you know, that's his life. I'm also, I'm gonna skip that lightning. I mean, I do enjoy lightning, but I figure, this is the toxic sewers, right? Yes, yes it is. But I figure to myself, oh, I completely missed a scroll of power back here. Tisk tisk. Anyway, yeah. I mean, I like lightning, but I feel we should probably try to get a bit better at using shields. You also notice that money is a lot more plentiful. You may be thinking to yourself, Gaslight, well, you have all, you already have, like, 72 million ducats here. I mean, why is the game giving you so much money? It's because, uh, from now on, we'll only be able to carry 15,000 ducats with us into the next, uh, run. I know where that leads. That leads us to the Promenade of the Condemned, which it, actually, if I recall, it has some new areas added, but I want to go to the Sepulchre. Apparently that's how you pronounce Sepulchre. I've been saying Sepulchre my entire life because I've never heard anyone say it out loud, but it's apparently pronounced Sepulchre. Hard k sound. Which is interesting. I never would have thought of that. Also, another interesting thing is that uh, those challenge rooms, they actually pause time. Hello. Recycling one, general improvement. You can transform the items you find on the ground or in chests into gold. 15% of the sale price. I like that. I like the sound of that. That's something new. Alright, so as you can probably see there, I mean, it, it looks like... Ooh, those doors have changed shape as well. I mean, there have been some good changes, I would say. Good changes all around. There's nothing on this ledge, is there? No. But there might have been for a second. Eh, I don't really like you. Yeah, I mean... I, I think at some point... Like, look at this, 272, 652. I mean, the damage is not that much greater than what we have. I think at some point, maybe the the balance a bit between, like, the tiers of weapons might... And then again, I mean, how do you do that so that, um, you know, higher tier weapons are worth it, but at the same time you don't, like, make it so that you could get overpowered? I mean, I guess just balance how many stat upgrades are available or something, but... I don't know. Oh yeah, also there's new achievements in this patch. Nifty. Alright. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, again, the game's only in early access, so at some point I imagine things might get balanced, but... I don't know. I, I feel like maybe what should happen, perhaps... You know is that oh dear wait wait I have a shield why did I not use the shield in the first place silly gaslight anyway yeah I mean the balance between making really good uh really good um weapons like higher tier weapons that is versus I don't need to go up there Versus uh, making, or picking strength upgrades versus, eh, I don't need to kill him either. I mean, we don't need to kill everything, everything. In fact, we don't need to kill most enemies. 
Oh god. Come on. There we go. Probably a good time to heal up. Alright. Anyway. I like the fact that killing enemies makes us faster, which... I would assume... Is intended to encourage us to kill enemies more often. Which is good. I mean, especially because we're gonna need that money in the future. Aha, you missed me. Anyway, but yeah, I mean, maybe make it so strength upgrades don't increase your strength quite as much, but that you get a bigger bonus to your stats in between, or like for higher tier weapons. Then again, on the other hand, I kind of change how you play the game, because they're sort of, I guess, possibly force you to change weapons, and, you know, it's entirely possible that you might like the starting weapon that you get, not want to not want to change it. So, there is that. Hmm. It is a conundrum. I suppose. A little bit of a conundrum, just a tiny one. Also, I take a quick look at the map here. Alright, good. I think this is gonna be a dead end. Ha! There we go. I mean, we're actually doing reasonably good damage here. Anyway, but what else What else uh, does this update add, you may be asking? Aside from the daily runs, the uh, a bit of a change to how... How, uh... Yeah, you get speed for killing enemies in rapid succession. And also just some general maneuverability improvements. You, There's not too much in this update. This is a bit of a... Oh god. Right, you got a shield, man. Yeah, kill him with your shield. That's how you do it. In fact, that was actually... Come on. Yeah, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, freeze everyone in place. Heal up. Heal up. Nope. Oh. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> there we go. I mean... Come on, Gaslight. Don't be a crazy person. You can do this without being, well, crazy. But you're constant yammering on and dealing with people and stuff. <clears throat> I mean, we're not gonna die. We're gonna win this run. It has been foretold by... Oh, by me, mostly. Let's be honest. I, <clears throat> no one said I was gonna win this run. Except for me. But, hey, if you don't believe in yourself, right? Come on. Oh, you are... despicable. Anyway. But yeah, I do like the fact that we can move much faster now. I mean, it does really actually make killing enemies worthwhile, doesn't it? And that's a good thing, because, I mean, we do need our cells. We need more cells, so that's always an important thing. We also need more power. And more power is always good. Nope. Why do I keep doing that to myself? Come on, Gaslight. I mean, I've actually gotten into a bit of a bad habit of letting enemies hit me because of the fact that... The last, uh, couple- oh, come on, I didn't actually hit that last time. Because the- hmm. Yeah, we'll go with the phaser. We still get the joy of setting stuff on fire. Except... Yeah, there we go. Set everything on fire, burn it up. Beautiful. We also poison everything, apparently. I like that. That's fun. It was almost certain I was going to get myself killed there. You know what? Heal up. Let's not be too... too crazy. This feels like it could lead... Oh! There we go. But I do like the fact that we are getting, like, considerably... Hmm. Oh, plus one strength. I'll go with that. I mean, this is a run where we're not going to get to keep most of this money at the end, so... Might as well dump it. A two times damage is possibly going to come back to haunt me, but... Then again, no pain, no gain. No risk, no reward. Oh yeah, baby. That's the good stuff. Oh, plus we also set everything on fire. I do... Uh, give me your money. More money! Turn around. That was dumb. That's damage I shouldn't have taken. Hey there, friendo. All right. Faster, 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 faster. Because speed is the key to good life, good living. 
Probably. Maybe. I mean, already, we have increased our killing output probably by five-fold, at least. Aha! Set you on fire and also... Oh! Haha! Blocked you, stabbed you, gained a skill upgrade. Alright, you know, this is a run where I'm learning to appreciate some of the finer things in life. Also, oh, that's the way out. The one place I completely wrote off as a viable way to get out of this horrible godforsaken hellhole of a dungeon. It's not really a godforsaken hellhole of a dungeon, is it? It's quite homely. I mean, just sweep out some of those skulls. And, uh, you could probably, you know, flip this dungeon for, I don't know, a good, good quarter million dollars. Probably, probably, let's say, ten million dollars. Or perhaps, oh, it's already down. Perhaps, a hundred million? Perhaps? I mean, who would want to buy a dungeon that constantly shifts and changes its shape? I mean, that's just a cool-looking dungeon. I mean, that way your house is never the same shape twice. You'll never get bored of it. You'll never have to move into another house because every day is a new... It's a new adventure. Or something like that. Also, it occurs to me we probably do not need any more strength upgrades. Oh, God. That was hilarious, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't die now. Not today. Also, heal yourself. Oh dear. Alright, we're... You're falling into that dangerous trap of getting perhaps a little too big for our britches, so let's... let's calm this down. Wait, wait. Ivy Grenade 4. Not bad. That was also pretty bad. But, I regret nothing. Because at the end, we're still doing pretty good. The fact you can actually get to a backside of that uh, jelly dispenser. It's kind of funny. You know, I should just use my shield on these guys. Probably save us a lot of time. Is there ever... Is there even a way out of this dungeon? It feels much too big. There we go. All right. Ah! Not you. All right, come on, come on, come on, into the sepulcher, yes. Or a sepulcher. It's gonna take me a while to get the, the pronunciation that right. Also, wow, that's a first. We actually were too slow to get the time door. I mean, obviously, we're gonna unlock these recycling thingies. So how does that work exactly? I mean, we've unlocked it, but I don't see what we do with that exactly. I mean, I guess there's a button. When we open the chest, we'll probably get an option like, Hey, do you want this or do you want to recycle it? And I guess well, then we'll find out. In fact, you know, I kind of like, uh, I like this whole system here. I think it's a little faster, a little faster. Where is the time door? Time door, time door, time door, time door. Yes, yes. Literally one second left. We are the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wrote's a little raw today, apparently. But, you know, it happens. That's life. All right. Yeah, I mean, it, it would probably at this point be in our best interests. To only, to only, uh, good job there, Gaslight. To only pick up health upgrades from now on. I mean, I know myself. I'm, I'm totally not gonna do that. I mean, I'm totally, totally gonna stack more strength. Because, you know, that's just what cool people do, probably. I mean, I've never considered myself a cool person, so I don't really know what cool people do. But, you know, I can hazard an educated guess, probably. I mean, right now, it's like we have, it's like we have plus 12 strength right now. So with that in mind, I guess we really don't need to get any more, any more of, uh, any more strength upgrades, because we should be good enough. Then again, is, is good enough really good enough? That's a question. 
That's the real question here. All right, jump button. There you go. Yeah, there's more secrets over here. And we might as well go this way before we unlock that door. It just makes sense. What do we got over here? Oh, we have a knife, and it gives us plus one health. Then again, the shield has done such good work for... Ah, what the heck. All right, we've got the money. What's going to be interesting from now on only being able to carry 15,000 ducats into the next level or into the next run. And that's definitely going to change strategy a bit. I mean, I won't be able to just buy whatever I want whenever I want anymore. But also there's an achievement for doing what I always do and jumping into spikes. So that's going to be fun. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Right there, that's probably where we could have, uh... Actually, it, it, that shield said cannot be sold, didn't it? Which is interesting. Ah, get away from me. Alright. Huh. It's kind of funny, really, how... We have yet to... Uh, like, we didn't even really need that key. Gaslight, surely you wouldn't be crazy enough to stack even more strength when, you know, you have very little health and you're taking double damage well you would be wrong sir or madam or upper whichever whatever and whoever you identify yourself as you would be wrong because I would be crazy enough to keep stacking strength like this but to be honest we probably shouldn't keep stacking strength like that okay wait for it Nope, nope. Ah. I could have had that. I could have been a contender once. I threw it all away. With arrogance and pride. Yes. Much arrogance, much pride. You just know I'm gonna die here now. And I make a big thing about how... Oh, wait, no, I haven't actually gone on at length about how we're invincible on this particular run. But, you know, we're probably invincible, maybe. I mean, you know, if we ignore the fact that I, like, completely botched that challenge run there, I got a little, uh, just a little, a little too, uh, skittish, I would say. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. Okay, hold the right button and we can recycle it. There we go, all right. So we should have, like, a pretty, a pretty good amount of extra money on hand from now on. Which is good. I don't think I'm going to worry about that cluster bomb. Unless this teleports us to the cluster bomb, which it did not. We're practically one-shotting enemies here, so, you know, we're doing good for ourselves. Gaslight, if you have any respect for yourself, don't do that. Come on, you know who I am by now. You know my name. You know what I'm all about. You know, insane ri- I mean, basically what I'm trying to do here is set myself in the- in the right kind of headspace for a cursed sword run. That is to say, a run where, you know, we can't afford to take damage or we'll just straight up die. But, well actually then again, I mean, if I want to recycle that cluster bomb, that's eh, probably worth that. I mean, Again, we have way too much money. We're going to lose most of this money at the end of this run, but we might as well get ourselves into thinking space. Plus, there's a, a skill upgrade here. I mean, we might as well get into the headspace to be properly, yeah, doing stuff like that. All right. I mean, so far, I'm thinking to myself that this, uh, this new update or this change here that is, uh making it so that we'll only we'll only be able to carry 15,000 ducats between runs. That's going to be a good change. It's going to make money considerably more worthwhile. It'll get rid of all that dangerous inflation that has been ruining the economy for so many years. Or something like that. Let's get back to the light. There we go. Precious, precious light. I mean, I'm at a point now where... I can basically one-shot everything. So... No, that's good. That's a very good thing indeed. Okay, can I somehow avoid that? 
Yes, I didn't trigger that. That way, if we, for whatever reason, have to go back, we'll have a little bit of light. Wait, what's this about opening? Oh, there's a secret door of some kind in here. What does that do? I mean, I barely even noticed it. Oh, wait, wait. Could that door right there... Oh, God. Where's the light? Where's the light? Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. All right. See, I told you that was a good plan, but what is that door there for? What is that door hinting at? I mean, it's it's obviously preparing us for something, but what is it preparing us for? That's a good question. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, that could tie into the door in, uh, like, in the first level, back in the beginning. I mean, this, this, the size is wrong. This is also probably a terrible, terrible idea. Gaslight, yeah, like you're totally not gonna go for more... more strength at this point. No, no, I am gonna pick up a little bit more health. Alright. This is also a good time to figure out if... I'm pretty sure the curse won't instantly kill us. I think. Why did I activate that one? Also, why do I have this, like, sickening feeling I'm gonna accidentally kill myself? All right, so far so good. Got ourselves a delicious piece of bacon. All right, we only need to kill one more enemy. How hard can it be to kill one single enemy? Not hard at all. I am a great, great man, probably. Maybe, good job, Gaslight. I mean, you know, that's totally, oh dear. Yeah, don't do that. I mean, I would have unlocked an achievement if I dive-bombed onto that, but, I mean, is that really an achievement? I should think not, to be honest with you. Not an, at least not an achievement to be proud of. Probably. Yeah, I own my achievements. Oh, there's an elite guy, but, oh, you're not gonna hit me, sir. Beautiful. All right, what do you do? You get gold. Interesting, interesting. And I like what we've got right now, though. The whole long dives doing stuff for us. That's the boss. Oh, there's actually... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a plus health thing down there. Or wait. No, there is a plus health thing down there. I was going to say for a second, maybe I was mistaken. But I was not. Get a little bit of extra health. That's good. There was uh, that one lonely goblin down there who we just murdered. Gave ourselves a little bit of extra light. <coughs> Excuse me there. Again, sorry. My throat's kinda... kinda dying on me right now. Yeah, baby! Oh, phase, phase. Stab. Yeah. Yeah! Suck it, goblins. Who think they're better than me somehow. Even I mean, they've never said they think they're better than me. But I know they're thinking it. They're secretly thinking it. Those goblins do. At least I think they're goblins. I keep calling them goblins, but I... Wow, 102 cells. I wonder whatever items may have been added, or if recycling two was the only one. Possibly. I mean, I guess it's worth unlocking this now, just so that we could uh, recycle it. But we don't really need the money this run, so... That'll be fine. That will be fine. But yeah, we're, uh... We're doing pretty good. This is not gonna be like our fastest run of all time, I don't think. Definitely not the shortest episode of all time, but we're getting somewhere. I really need to get back into practice of doing challenge rooms, though. I still feel like there's gotta be a secret back there. What do you think that door in the sepulcher is, uh... Secretly, secretly hinting at? Being all secretly secret-like. Alright. I need, I need more strength, because I can't one-shot the, the things, the people, the, uh, the bats. Right. That's right, because the weapon we have now is currently, does double damage, but only to, or only with that blade. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no! Don't jump button, guts. Jump button, don't, eh. Eh. No. Okay, jump. Jump button stuck. I can't. 
Oh, this is actually... No, don't... <laughs> oh no, now my controller is glowing. That's not what I wanted. Alright, there we go. Okay, now... Now we're where we need to be, as far as logic and life are concerned. You need more strength. Oh ho 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 ho, you thought I was gonna dive on that, didn't you? But I didn't. Not today. Alright. Anyway, let's stop being crazy. And let's get down to business here. Though, I, I think... I think if we do, in fact, get a cursed sword on this run, I am gonna take it. Just because. Cursed swords are cool. You know, they have curses and stuff on them, and curses are cool. There we go. Boingy. Ooh. Oh, there's all kinds of cool, mysterious... Oh, look at that door. It's like a door and stuff. There's like, this is hinting at future stuff. Something's going on down here. This is like the heart of the island now. I mean, it was kind of already the heart of the island. I'm pretty sure the game even explicitly states that the graveyard is at the heart of the island, so, you know. It's not like I just put together some, like, insanely intelligent and, and wise and knowledgeable theory there. I just, you know, kind of regurgitated information that I think most people already knew. That people smarter than myself have probably already put together really cool theories on how, how everything ties together about, the, you know, the life or life, the universe, and everything. The truth is out there, man. You just gotta be brave enough to go out there and take it. Or something like that. Beautiful. And we're getting all kinds of cells. I'm actually almost wondering to myself here if the thing, oh dear, if uh, the thing with uh, like collecting cells is that you get more cells, the uh, like the deeper into the game you get. Just note how in the the in or in the first area. Oh, we got an achievement for that too. Nice. Why did I do that? Stunned myself and wasted time for no reason. Anyway, but in the first area, you know, we barely we barely get like seven cells a floor. Sometimes a bit more if we're lucky. And RNG Jesus is looking down upon us favorably. But most of the time, not so much. Repository of the Architects, you're still sitting there. Still sitting there teasing me. Ah, oh boy. Someday, though, we'll be able to open that. Maybe that's something we won't be able to open until you, like, beat the game for the first time or something. Like, there could be... There'll be things that you only unlock once you've beaten the game. Or not. I mean, it could be also that... No, I don't want that. Oh, my. Nope. Huh, ah, that's weird. I was totally expecting someone to come out and try to get us. Okay, where's... There you go. I knew there had to be a Chuckles around here. There's always a Chuckles. Every time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Our little grave bat friends are following us. Onward to victory. Alright, I'm gonna go back this other way though, because there is a store up there, and stores are cool. I mean, who doesn't like seeing a store? Wait a minute. You have your own music. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. You know what? I mean, we gotta do it, right? I mean... We may die now, we may lose this run. But we have seen... We've unlocked stuff, we have seen stuff. This episode has already justified its existence. I feel like my jump button's gonna get stuck and I'm gonna fall into the spikes. At any moment now. Ah, this is a better version of what we've got. Ah, oh, this... Ah, this has plus strength. I don't need it. Okay. Just you watch, we're gonna die now, not because of, like, not to the Watcher's tentacles. But I'm gonna jump into a spike pit. It's gonna happen. And, you know, I'm gonna Nostradamus this one. Or Nostradamus. 
Ah, oh, I did it! I knew it! See, I told you. I told you I was gonna accidentally jump into some spikes. Dang. Oh well, that's where we're gonna wrap this episode up. So, at uh, next time, you know, save the cursed sword until the very end, and or you know, just don't hit the spikes. But that's where we're gonna wrap this episode up. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.